This is Nancy Leader on the Zeta Report. What are the signs that Indonesia is getting ready to sink? First, surprisingly, a huge mothership seen from the city of Hangzhou along the China coastline on July 8, 2010. This was seen from Hangzhou to the South China Sea, the area being warned. Per the Zetas, the coastal residents were being warned that they would lose up to 20 feet in sea level elevation. When the plate tongue holding Indonesia sinks, per the Zeta 7 of 10 prediction, the bending point will be a line drawn across China, right where all those sinkholes have been opening up. Then in July, Pakistan had rain that purportedly caused extensive flooding, but the floodwaters refused to drain. The Zetas had stated that the plate holding India would tilt its western side down so that the tongue holding Indonesia could sink, and this had started. Here on a map showing the extent of flooding on October 7, 2010, in purple and blue are the floodwaters. Pakistan is sinking. Just as Sumatra and Java, of course, ride at the edge of the plate and are land masses rather than seabed because of the subduction pressure. Rock has been scraped off the tongue as it's subducted, creating mountains from this jumble. Sumatra and Java are not, thus, what is assumed to be solid rock, but is a clutter, a jumble, and can thus easily shift under sufficient pressure. Zeta Talk. The pace has picked up. In mid-September 2010, several levees along canals in Jakarta sank within days of each other, first along the East Flood Canal in South Jakarta, then along a North Jakarta Canal. Mind you, these canals were built to carry floodwaters away, not allow the sea to encroach into Jakarta. But Jakarta is sinking being along the swath of land at the tip of the tongue of Indonesia on the island of Java, this was our first evidence of the tongue beginning to sink. If Pakistan is sinking, other areas up along the border of the plate holding India were feeling the crunch. The village of Jalandhar shook with earthquakes for two full weeks. Then in late October, the pace really started picking up. 21 volcanoes along the many in Indonesia were put on alert, the largest number at one time ever. Indonesia volcanologists began muttering about plate realignment. Hmm, perhaps they've been reading Zeta Talk. Maripai erupted, even through Obama's nervous visit to the area in early November. Anna Krakatawa began erupting on October 30th, and the pace has not slackened. All those erupting volcanoes are along the curve of Sumatra and Java, the edge of the tongue being pushed down. The nervous volcanoes in Indonesia will not increase their eruptions much beyond where they are today during the elevation drop. Volcanoes erupt because magma is pushed into pockets near the surface without an opportunity to escape. Rather than compress the tongue holding Indonesia, the dropping of the tongue allows this tongue to expand to fan out Zeta Talk. At the same time, in late October, the central valley in Thailand appeared to be sinking too. Note that this valley, which ends in Bangkok, is surrounded by two mountain ranges. Mountain ranges usually indicate mountain building, a squeeze in the past. The flooding in Thailand was being blamed on rain, a tropical depression, but nearby countries such as Vietnam, which are more vulnerable, went unscathed. Per the Zetas, the tongue holding Indonesia was being squeezed like an accordion, pushing the mountains up and the valley down in Thailand. If Bangkok and the valley above was flooded by a storm that passed through south of Bangkok, then why did the storm not flood Ho Chi Minh City at the tip of Vietnam? An analysis shows that this region has a lower elevation. Note the mountainous regions to the east and west of the valley in central Thailand. The plate may bend where the plate is thin. The valley in central Thailand is buckling. Zeta talk. 
If the tongue hold in Indonesia is buckling, being squeezed like an accordion, does this explain the new island suddenly rising out of the sea between Java and Bali on November 3rd? It does indeed, for the Zetas, as plates are not of an even thickness, and just as bending and buckling can force a portion down, as in Pakistan and Thailand, it can force a portion up. Until next time on the Zeta Report, I'm Nancy Leader.